hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up in today's tutorial I'll show you how to add your cPanel email address to your gmail account or you can also use other email clients to send and receive emails um, and these emails will be for your cPanel so I'll first of all create an email and this is for the admin if you're not the admin this account will be created for you already so i'm going to create it for this domain and then the email address will be teach me how at takeaworld.com and then for password i'm just going to generate the password or i can click on this link here and put an email address so it will send me the email to set up my account but today i'm just going to tell it to generate a password for me so let's take the first option and then I generate a password. You can also enter the password manually yourself. So let's generate one. All right. So this is the our password. Um, I'm going to copy it so I can save it. But I can also change the password later. So this is just for our test. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the email. So here's my newly created email. I'm just going to open it and there is nothing in my email right now apart from my welcome email so an email has been created teach me how and then i get this information about my setting up my ports so i can use this welcome email to set up everything i need on that uh, email so i'm going to use the secure settings the recommended setting is for the, the secure so i'm going to use the secure settings to set up my email so here's my mail and there is my calendar and contacts and then i have non-ssl so i'm going to use the ssl portion alternatively if you don't have this already um the admin can send you that um all they need to do is they will go here and say um you want to select a device to set up your account you can say i'm not sure and then they put an email address to send you the instruction that's one way that the admin can do that and then you can configure your device another way is they can click on here and then just go to mail client and then you need this information to be able to set up your account so these are the necessary requirements so i'm going to go over to my gmail i don't have an an email existing right now for that so i'm going to create a new account so i'm going to create new gmail for personal use and then my first name is going to be teach me last name is going to be how we need to create a user id so let's call it let's call it teach me how tutorial teach me how tutorial at gmail.com so enter password and then um then we'll click on next right so we're going to enter some information here phone numbers and all that so i'm going to speed past here uh you will create your email address uh the way you would normally do that all right so we've created the email we are in so teach me you know there's nothing inside it's totally new brand new email address so we, what we're going to do is to now link the two accounts together so we're going to click on the setting then see all settings then you click on the accounts and import scroll down to check mail from other accounts click on that then you want to put the email address here teach me how at hackerworld.com you go next and then you want to import from using other ports or using other accounts now you don't have uh gmailify so you just i want to stay on import emails from my other accounts click on next and then your username is going to be teach me how at um hackerworld.com your password is the password of your account and then your email server or your pop server is your domain then you want to go to port 995 Leave a copy after you've retrieved it. And just um, create a new label for your email if you want. So we're just going to call this one Teach Me How. 
All right. Let's verify that we have the right information. So let's go back to our email. The port is 995. Yeah. The server is like and the username is this one here. So we are good to go. So let's click on add account. Verification is done. Yes, I want to be able to send email as teach me how at hackerworld.com. Um, then we we'll just click on next. Then the name will be teach me how, and um, email address will be teach me how at hackerworld.com. And then you just click on next. So let's put our password here, and this will be for our. Um, we're gonna configure two things. So right, we've configured incoming on on port nine nine five. We wanna configure outgoing on port four six five. All right. So we just go here. Username is teach me how at hackerword dot com, and password is my password. Your server has no mail dot anything on it. Your port is 465 as verified. So this, these are Gmail ports. So let's just add the account. All right, so an email will be sent to us with a, a link and a verification code. So you can either click on the link or you copy the code and paste in here. So we're gonna go back to our email and look for the link. An email will be sent to us shortly to verify so let's go to inbox and just wait for that email so this is done to verify that we have access to this email otherwise people can just um, take your email address and walk through this process and start getting your emails but you want to make sure they want to make sure that you actually have access to this email all right so the email just arrived so let's take that code alternatively we could just click on this um so let me try click clicking it this time please confirm all right confirm click here to return to gmail account so we'll click on that then we return to our gmail account and teach me how is already there so we have done the verification right so emails sent to teach me how will be seen here this will be our regular inbox and this will be emails to and from teach me how so let's try and compose an email all right so whenever you select whenever you have this setup in place Make sure that when you're sending an email, you select the from account. So you want it to be from hackerworld.com. So I select that and I'm going to send it to another account, um, email setup completion, test email. All right. And the email is sent. Right. So I'm going to go to that email. And reply to it all right so let me go to that email on my cell phone all right just go to the email so I'm gonna to reply to say thanks complete testing complete texting completed let's do that one uh, maybe put a smiley face all right that is fine done sent all right so as you can see there are two emails in the main inbox and there's one new email in teach me how so i'm going to click on that and that will be my response i believe that testing complete smiley face all right so i can send and receive emails from my gmail account as if i was on my cpanel email account Right, so if I go back to my cPanel email account, I would see that same email there. If I go to my, I'll see testing completed, smiley face. 
so any email that is in my cPanel email account also shows up in my Gmail account, right? So the previous email, which is the verification email, is now in my Teach Me How because it was it was pulled from my cPanel email account. All right, that's how easy it is to set up your account. Remember, the, the most important thing is to to use the right ports. So let's just recap. So right here, you get this email that gives you the port numbers. You, you're using the domain here for your incoming server, and your port is the 995. Then for your outgoing server, domain remains the same. Your port is 465. So set up those. And then your username is your your email address really your username is your email address remember to add your domain and then your password is the password you use to access your email and then once you do that so you have to configure your incoming and then your outgoing server and you are good to go you receive that email with the authentication link set that up and you're good to go you have to repeat the same for your calendar and your contacts so follow the same instructions you add your calendar, um, your domain, and your port. All right. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more content, stay infused.